So the soft horsemanship course is designed to take a lay person with little or no experience with working horses or mules and teach them to safely uh, and effectively transport themselves and their gear in rough terrain. Um, it's designed for the special operators to be able to have an additional tool in their basket uh, to do that. There's definitely a possibility of utilizing horses or pack mules or any sort of pack animal. Uh, we've done it before in the past uh, with pack animals, but never first person basis. But I've actually had uh, local people utilize those uh, pack animals for me. We have plenty of training that we go through, but training like this is few and far between. So this is definitely a, gives us an, an advantage as far as uh, utilizing horses or pack animals. We got about 15 days. We take a special forces team and then we basically teach them how to pack mules and then teach them the basics of riding horses throughout mountainous terrain. So you take a guy that's never owned a goldfish day one and then at the end of day 15 he's catching his mule, he's packing his mule, he's saddling his horse, he's getting on his horse and controlling both of those animals at the same time um, to go up a mountain trail over a pass, sliding down the other side, going through bogs. So it's pretty rewarding to see what they learn from our instruction while they're here. I think we're in a technology forward world. We're always looking for the latest and greatest technology. Sometimes we forget that the easiest way to do things is probably the, the simplest way. This is sort of a lost art. Um, if you look around at these mountains, you're not, there's no vehicle that can get up and down these mountains. There's, we don't even have one. This capability can't be replicated. Plus it's, it, you know, it's ubiquitous around the world, right? So you can find donkeys, you can find horses in every continent in the world. So this is a, techno a technology, uh, whether or not be ancient technology, but it's a technology that just enables them to, to accomplish the mission. I have absolutely nothing but extraordinary things to say about this class. The quality of the people that come in the class, they're eager to learn. The instructors are very well versed in different things. And overall, when you're done with this class, you could actually be prepared to use these tools. It's not just an introduction. But I think this provides the basis um, for, for actually stepping out from here and being able to use what you've learned. So it's important for them because it gives them an exfil and infill platform because if you you might be able to hump something in on a truck, truck it in, but you might eject it, it might be three, four days down the road, and if you can just pack out a mule or get on a horse, by the time you get to the fight, you're gonna have more energy to get there. I think it's important that the, this packing course and horsemanship course be here at Bridgeport, just for the same reasons that uh, the Mountain Warfare Training Center was created in the first place. It's, the terrain here is extremely varied. It's steep, it's inaccessible by any other means. It really isn't that useful to, to learn to pack across the open prairie. The whole point of being able to pack is to be able to get your gear to places that you couldn't use it. Well, if you take a picture of the Hindu Kush in Afghanistan, lay it over a picture of the Mount Warfare Training Center, it's a mirrored version. We are the only course of this type in DOD. Um, to teach him how to ride in this kind of terrain, we have to put him on a horse and put him in this kind of terrain. So if we were running this course, say at 29 Palms, you don't have this kind of terrain there, you don't have the weather there, you don't have the elevation there. Um, so that's why it's beneficial to run here. This course is important to the ODA because it brings a different uh, knowledge base of infill and exfill platform to get into wherever an ODA may need to operate with a lot of equipment and still be able to fight effectively. The majority of the world has some sort of mountainous environment and it's very good to be able to operate with these animals in that kind of environment. This could translate to anywhere around the world. If I could sum this course up in one word, it would be critical. I thought about some other words like unique. Um, obviously this is unique, there's no question about that, but you can be unique and not be critical. To sum up the course in a word would be, I mean once again, eye-opening. Uh, it's something that I've never really thought about before, but it's something that is very beneficial for ODAs to know. 
kind of one word. Um, courage, you know, dealing with overcoming your fear to be around a thousand, twelve hundred pound animal that could end up hurting you very severely. Different. Uh, throughout my military career, there's uh, been a lot of training that I've gone through. Uh, but nothing like this. Critical in the sense that it's mission critical. It's, it's a skill that we need to have within our forces and I think it would be really short-sighted to think that somehow technology could replace this weapon system um, or this capability. So uh, that would be the word I would choose, critical. So one of the hardest things for us to teach is the animal-human interface. So watching these guys overcome their fear uh, or conquer their fear, however you want to look at it, to be able to handle those animals in this type of train is probably the most rewarding thing there is of the course. As far as a horse goes or a mule, uh, they're definitely not indigenous to a, a team that uh, uses different types of equipment. This is definitely a non-standard piece of equipment. Yeah, just seeing everything that you can do with pack animals and horses, it'll definitely be something that we can bring back to our unit and try to spread the information around not having a smattering of folks in our forces that know how to do this, whether it be the Marines in the, in the actual animal pack course or the special operators with the horsemanship skills, we need to be able to rely on those people to share their experience with their teammates and say, hey, I got an idea, we can do this, we can accomplish this mission.